there is one. the title is uh, challenging to develop uh, deep learning based uh, lossy image comprehension uh, no milo you got s cartalish so i belongs to uh, department of artificial intelligence and software engineering in visual computing research lab in ajo university <clears throat> So I will briefly introduce about my academic background. Uh, I have PhD degree in computer engineering, uh, master's degree in information science and bachelor's degree in mathematics. So when I was a master's degree, I uh, developed multilayer perceptron artificial neural network for tagging uh, parts part of speech tagger for Amharic language. So in 2006, as a PhD uh, student, uh, I developed progressive lossless image coding and transmission using edge adaptive hierarchical interpolation. Uh, my research areas. Uh, image and video processing, uh, computer vision, uh, natural language processing. So previously, we are using uh, hard-coded uh, algorithms or heuristic algorithms, but nowadays, different applications in image processing, video processing, computer vision, natural language processing, they are based on machine learning and deep learning. So nowadays, uh, I shifted into machine learning and deep learning techniques because it is mandatory, I think, at this time. So the agendas uh, that I will uh, focus in this presentation is as follows. We have uh, four main agendas. The first is uh, existing image comprehension standards. So what their architecture looks like. And second, what is the weakness of these existing systems? And the third, to address this weakness, we will use uh, deep learning systems. We can develop uh, deep learning based systems. But still, to use deep learning algorithms for the development of lossy image comprehension, there is a challenge. So we will see this challenge. But before that, we will have an overview for artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning techniques, their similarities and differences. And since uh, this deep learning based image comprehension is based on the convolutional uh, also encoder neural network architecture. There are so many types of architectures, but for this uh, convolutional auto encoder network is uh, appropriate struct, appropriate architecture. And finally, even though there are challenges uh, to develop this image comprehension system using deep learning uh, techniques, uh, there are uh, some approach or activities to address this challenge. So this is the last uh, uh, part. So the first part is architecture of image uh, comprehension system. Uh, normally, in any data comprehension uh, system, it may be text data, audio data, video data, or still image data. So we can have multi uh, media uh, nowadays. So in order to uh, transfer uh, this data from one source uh, to another destination, the bandwidth is maybe very low. If we pass the whole data as it is without comprehension, so it will take a large amount of time for transmission because of the lack of bandwidth. Therefore, data comprehension in general is very important. So this is the original image in our case. Then it is compressed. So these are the numbers because uh, in, uh, behind these numbers, behind this picture, there, the, there are numbers, intensity values. So 
this represents the compact uh, representation of the original image. So this will be done by the sender or the source sender. And there is another receiver in the other end. So this is the transmission media. Then the receiver will decompose uh, the original compact uh, representation to reconstruct uh, the original uh, image. If it is lossless, we will get the original image again. If it is lossy, we will get some approximation version of the original image. So in, in general, we will have lossless and lossy image compression uh, types. So as I already mentioned, uh, I focused on a lossy uh, compression part uh, in this presentation. So what is the primary objective or purpose of uh, uh, comprehension in, in general, data comprehension? So it is very simple and obvious. That means to reduce the required number of bits to represent a given data. So we want to minimize the number of bits or bytes, okay? How to do that? Uh, is it possible to compress any data as you want? How that will be achieved? So data comprehension will be effective if there is redundance, uh, redundant information that exists inside the data. Inside the data, if there is no redundant information, you cannot remove that redundant information because every information is very important. But if there is redundant information, that is useless because uh, we can predict uh, the remaining information if we, if we, if we uh, control or reserve uh, very relevant information. So there are three types of uh, redundant information in a given uh, grayscale image. Interpixel redundancy, uh, psychovisual redundancy, uh, code beat redundancy. When we say interpixel redundancy, in a given image, uh, generally, so if this is a, a given image, so in some portion of the area, this may be uniform area. So when the light is pulled down and there is a reflectance, that means the intensity value will be uniform because uh, the characteristics of this surface is the same. So that means 20, 20, 20, 20 is the same. So this is redundant information. That means between pixels, uh, each pixel or the surrounding pixels in a certain uh, local surface area, the value is the same. So instead, so 20, 20, 20 means it is repeated. So instead of sending each value, if I send this 20, and then the receiver can duplicate this remaining part. So this is just a simple uh, example. So that's why there is interpixel redundancy. So by removing the interpixel redundancy, I can reduce the amount of bytes that are needed to represent the original data. The second is uh, psychovisual redundancy. This is related to the human visual system. At the end of the day, the human being will use uh, this image. So there is a source and the destination. So at the destination, after we decompress it, so the human being is the ultimate user for this output. Therefore, if you see the electro, uh, uh, electromagnetic spectrum of uh, the whole uh, length, that means uh, short wave length and uh, long wave length. So only some portion, that means the visible part will be detected by human eye. Therefore, all the information around here and here is useless. That means no value for the human being. So we have to reduce this part and we have to focus here. Moreover, uh, in a given image, human being is sensitive to different parts of an image. For example, it is not sensitive to uh, smooth areas. So the human eye is very sensitive for different types of edges, or so there may be like this or this, or there may be a corner like this, or there may be a circular shape and so on. So it will focus on the boundary of the shapes because the human visual system can interpolate uh, the missing parts. For example, if you have seen uh, like this, so I, uh, our eye can interpolate this and it can visualize uh, like this shape. 
So that is the uh, uh, characteristics of uh, human visual uh, system. So from the characteristics of, based on the characteristics of human visual system, so we can remove unnecessary paths from the uh, given image, that is uh, removal of uh, psychovisual redundancy. Uh, the last one is code beat redundancy. As you know, in ASCII code, you know, in ASCII code, uh, uh, generally, uh, we will have uh, 127 uh, uh, characters on our keyboard. So each character is represented by uh, seven bits, okay? So that means equal number of bits is given to each character. In case of image, uh, if you have an image like this, it may be grayscale image or uh, color image, each pixel will be represented by eight bit, okay? And the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 255. So zero will be represented by zero, zero, like this, by eight bit. One is also represented by eight bit and so on. So this has a code redundancy because when we see the frequency distribution of each pixel, so if you have a histogram like this, it is zero, one, uh, two, and so on. Inside this image, each value will occur different number of times. That is the frequency is different. Therefore, I have to assign small bit for uh, values that occur very frequently. And I have to assign long bit for values that occur very rarely. That is information theory. So the reason is that uh, normally, uh, information uh, theory gives a high value for less uh, likely events or surprising events. For example, now it is a, a winter vac a summer vacation. So I can say that tomorrow, if I, if I can say that tomorrow is uh, very hot. So people will not be surprised because it is expected. But if I say that tomorrow there is a snow, then everybody will be surprised. That means during summer season, uh, snow will not come. The event is very rare. If it is occurs, it is, looks like a breaking news. That means it will give high information. Therefore, there is an inverse uh, relationship between the frequency occurrence of some event and the associated uh, information. So that's why we have to give small number of bits for very frequent uh, events and then we have to give a large bit if it is occurs very rarely. For example, if you have uh, uh, six, 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 six occurs many times, assume it occurs 36 times. Therefore, uh, if it is very, uh, because it is occurs very, very frequently many times. So if I assign small bit, for each of them, because it is occur small, uh, very large number of times, then the total bit will be small. Otherwise, if I have, if the frequency is very high, but if I assign very large, then there is no value. So this is another heuristic. The reason why there is a code redundancy, there is a code redundancy when we assign equal number of bits for each pixel value, but we have to assign variable links uh, code for each pixel value based on the probability distribution. So this is the uh, search redundancy. If the image is a color image, so in addition to the above three redundancies, there is also inter-band uh, redundancy means between RGB, okay, planes. So there is a uh, green uh, red image part and then green component and then blue component if we uh, display them separately almost they look like the same that means there is redundant information uh, between this and moreover a human being is very sensitive for the luminance component and it is not sensitive to the chrominance component therefore if you have this original image, then the luminous component resolution will be remaining the same. But for this, I can make it half. Okay, so the width will be half. 
and the head will be half because it is not that much important, okay? In this way, we can also uh, reduce uh, the redundancy. The next one is video. As you know, video is a sequence of image, so image one, uh, image two, and so on. So for example, now I am sitting here. So if you take uh, a video in this room, all the values in this frame and in the next frame, they are almost the same except my body movement, okay? So if my head is like here in this area, but in this case, my head will be around here. So this is not on the same location, but the remaining uh, insensitive value is the same. Therefore, there is a redundancy uh, across time. That means that is a temporal redundancy. Therefore, I will keep only the moving part. So if the moving part is here, I will press only the vector. So uh, otherwise, the remaining part is the same. Therefore, I will send only this information because all this information is already sent in the previous frame. So this is a uh, temporal uh, redundancy uh, concept. So now, uh, the existing uh, uh, systems and uh, moreover, the deep uh, learning based uh, uh, systems focus on removing uh, these redundancies. So this is a general architecture. So you will have input image and you will have output image. Uh, so this is higher level. If you go to down, I can decompose into encoder and decoder. This is the original image. The output is uh, X hat because it is different from this because it is lossy. This is the intermediate one, the intermediate representation or the compressed uh, uh, value. And this is uh, more if we uh, decompose this encoder and decoder. So the encoder part has, uh, again, transformation uh, block, quantization block, and entropy coding block. The decoder also has entropy decoding, uh, uh, dequantization, and inverse transform. So this is the original image. It is transformed into uh, frequency representation instead of uh, from, uh, I mean, from uh, spatial domain, it will go to the frequency domain. And then in the frequency domain, uh, we will do quantization to avoid uh, psychovisual redundancy. So now uh, we have seen three types of redundancy. So this transform block remove interpixel redundancy. Quantization block will remove psychovisual redundancy. Entropy coding remove beat redundancy. Okay. So the decoder is the inverse process. So now how it will work in the existing JPEG standard is that now you have uh, the original image uh, here, but it will be divided into eight by eight block here. So there are eight by eight blocks here. After you divide uh, in on each block, on each eight by eight block, we will apply discrete cosine transformation in order to avoid interpixel redundancy. After that, we'll apply quantization. We'll rearrange the data and we will apply uh, entropy coding. Okay. So now for the transformation, the, we have a matrix. This is a discrete cosine transformation matrix. So we'll have a given image in the form of vector. We can convert it into vector form from 2D into 1D. Then we can apply and we can have these coefficients. And the reverse process, if you have the original matrix, then the inverse, we can use the inverse of the matrix. Now, this will be the input and this will be the output here, okay? For example, if n is four, you will have such type of matrix. Now this matrix is fixed, okay, for any types of image. So it is not adapted. So uh, we can visualize like this. So in a 2D plane, at each pixel location, this height show uh, gives you the intensity value. The higher 
the height means uh, 255 or 230 like that. Small value means it may be three or four because the intensity value is uh, from zero to uh, 255. Minimum is zero and maximum is 255 in, a, in an eight bit uh, grayscale image. Quantization. So quantization is necessary uh, because uh, in the uh, transformation, originally in the image data, the values are integer values from zero to 255. But after transformation, you will get a float value. Initially, each, B, each pixel has eight bits, but after transformation, each coefficient will have, because it's a floating value, it will have 32 bit or 60 bit. So it is opposite. We are not doing comprehension in this case. So to avoid this, I have to truncate the decimal places to get the integer values. And then for those integer values, uh, they will be used uh, for the entropy coder. Entropy coder always accept uh, uh, symbols or integer values. It will not accept uh, floating values, okay? So that is the reason why we are doing uh, quantization. So this is mathematical part, but the theoretical part is that we are doing quantization because we have to remove psychovisual redundancy. That is the theoretical part, but this uh, technical part is uh, just, uh, you take, uh, this is the original value. So you have to divide by some value and then you can uh, take the floor function. Anyway, you will get integer value. Then in the, uh, uh, case of uh, coefficient, so you can easily cross here. So this C is this is multiplied by this one. So that is the inverse transform. Okay. So as an example, uh, if this is the uh, original value and this is a uh, quantization value, so you can get uh, such type of integer values, but the original values are float values. So this is a quantization table. So if you go back to uh, here, in order to do transformation, I have predefined table matrix. In order to in order to do uh, quantization, I have already prefixed table. For entropy coding, I have uh, uh, a table that represents the probability of each uh, uh, value after quantization. So always uh, we have uh, these uh, three uh, different tables as an input. Uh, for these uh, operations and uh, decoder also will use this uh, information. Okay, so that's why here uh, we have uh, quantization. After that, uh, we will rearrange them in zigzag manner. So this is two D. I will convert into one D here as a vector. This is eight by eight, so I have sixty-four uh, vectors. Then for each element here, for each element, I have a probability distribution here, probability distribution. Then based on the probability distribution, I can assign different number of bits. After that, I will generate this bit and I will transfer this bit along the transmission media. So if we uh, see these values as index from zero to uh, 64 here, the values, and if you see the probability distribution, it looks like this. Okay. So that means uh, we will have uh, different probabilities. So for these uh, types of values, we have to assign small number of bits because it occurs many times. But for this, even though we can assign long bits, no problem because they will occur rarely. So it will not occupy much space. So we have to assign short bits to the most frequent values. So this probability distribution will be an input for the entropy coder. There are so many types of entropy coders. Hoffman entropy coder is one. The other is arithmetic uh, entropy coder. So I will not go in detail about how the Hoffman entropy coder will work, but uh, for your intuitive uh, explanation, uh, this is, uh, the inverse, so this is negative, okay? So information is inversely related to the probability as I have already mentioned here. So we have to, we can compute the entropy of uh, 
the given information, the given source. How to do that? So PI is entropy. I mean, PI is a probability. So you have n by n. That means n square number of pixels. Among those pixels, pixel level i occur n k times. Then you can take this frequency. So this PI represents uh, relative uh, uh, probability distribution. That means so you have a probability log of that probability multiplied by the probability value in negation of that, that means inverse relationship. So this will give you the average number of bits per pixel entropy. So this is an example. So this image is for human visual system, but if you see the gray scale inside uh, the pixel, it looks like this. So this is the original value. So after transformation, it looks like this. Then after quantization, so it looks like this. Now you see, as indicated here, majority of them, they will become zero. So this is a frequency. Uh, this is frequency one. So this is uh, frequency two. So the highest frequencies are around here. Okay, it is compacted here. Therefore, after transforming from uh, image domain into frequency domain, all the important values are concentrated here and I can reject this. So I can save a much amount of bits, that means after transformation and uh, quantization. Okay. Reduce. Uh, so finally we'll get this uh, original image. So part two, uh, weakness of transform-based image comprehension. That means, what are the weaknesses uh, we, have, we have seen so far? So when we develop the image comprehension system, we have a purpose. That is to minimize the number of bits that represent the original image. At the same time, when we receive it, we have to reconstruct or decompress it, then the difference between the original value and the reconstructed value is here. So this is the original value. This is the reconstructed value. The difference should be minimum. So we are trying to minimize the error or the distortion. And we have to also minimize rate, but they are opposite, OK? If I want to have high quality, okay, it should be near to lossless. That means I will not compress much. I will not lose much information. So if I give high priority for the quality, then I will not compress it. If I compress it very well, now I have a small number of bits and that can be transmitted through the transmission media within a very short period of time. But at the receiver, the distortion will be very high. The quality will be very low, that means. So in the optimization, so there is a trade-off between distortion and uh, number of bit representation. Therefore, there should be a parameter constant lambda to give priority as you want. For example, if I want high, uh, I mean, if low bit rate, then I will give uh, this value very high. That means high importance for rate. But if I want to give high importance for the quality, then I will give small value of lambda, okay? So uh, because of these two contradictions, that means there's a trade-off between rate and distortion. So now, when we see this uh, architecture, when we see the analysis transform and the synthesis transform, they are linear. So they are linear. So they will not handle the linear properties of the image signal, but neural network is a universal, a universal function approximator that can approximate nonlinear functions. So, so that is the advantage of using 
uh, deep learning or uh, convolutional uh, neural network because neural network is a universal function approximator that can represent non linear uh, properties of the image signal. But these two are in the existing system, they are linear. Second, these two matrices, that means the inverse matrix and the transform matrices, they are image independent. They are image independent. These two coefficients, these two transformation matrices, they are established by studying uh, the domain knowledge. That means the human visual system and the transformation from image domain into uh, frequency domain, the values will be compacted at some area, okay? So it is uh, unlike machine learning, there is no huge data to learn. So these values, the values of the matrix are not derived from the uh, training data. They will be developed by experts that, that are hard coded based on domain knowledge and heuristics. So for the uh, quantization, we, we have to prepare the quantization table and the probability table and the transform table based on domain knowledge. It is not based on training data. Therefore, these values are fixed. They are not flexible. They are not adaptive for the specific type of application that we want. So that is the uh, second weakness. Uh, the third weakness is that optimization will be done uh, separately. So in order to find, in order to set up these uh, matrices, and in order to also set up the quantization table, the transformation table, and to also set up uh, the probability distribution table. So this will be objective one, and this will be objective function two, and this will be objective function three. So based on their influence on the rate and on the quality, so we will optimize one by one separately, not jointly. Therefore, since they cannot coordinate together, overall performance may not be optimal. But in case of uh, uh, deep learning or neural network, all these parameters, all these parameters will be optimized at the same time using single optimization function. So this is uh, the last one. That means uh, the last weakness. Uh, part three is uh, challenges to develop uh, deep learning based uh, comprehension system. So since- Dr. Uh, 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 okay, relationship uh, relationship Melison construct Naragale, Mihinyo, entropy code Diona. Lihinyo, let a layer application of Mulo. In computer vision, Lem Sali, the classification Menetakam Kohone, a part has filled again. We will not use this part. We are using only this part, so this is the representation. Then we will have a fully connected network in order to do classification or uh, some other tasks like segmentation and so on. Uh, we cannot use this directly. So we will have uh, this module, that means for comprehension. We'll add this on the standard one. Quantization is there, entropy coding is there. So I have already uh, mentioned uh, these uh, concepts. So 
Uh, now there is a challenge. Uh, the challenge is that in the function, uh, there is a quantization. So this is a visual quantization. So the quantization uh, is uh, a discrete function. The probability distribution also discrete probability distribution. But deep learning works based on gra uh, gradient descent back propagation algorithm. So this is the loss function. So the derivative, the gradient or the derivative of the loss function will not, uh, will be zero or undefined for uh, quantization function and for discrete probability distribution. So these are the two problems, okay? That means uh, here, uh, both are pieces wise constant function, therefore the derivative is zero. Therefore, when uh, go back to uh, uh, here, so uh, if we come back to the opposite direction, so around here, the bar will be zero. That means the gradient will be zero. So we will have a gradient vanishing problem. So the solution is we have to approximate the discrete probability distribution and the probability and then uh, the uh, I mean the quantization function and the discrete probability distribution function uh, by continuous version. So as it is indicated here, this solid line is the original uh, continuous function, and this dotted line is the approximate version, but these vertical lines are the discrete version. So in the approximate version, there is overlapping here. If you take zero, there is a large gap here. If there is a large gap, that is not, it, it is a true representation. So this is a, a challenge, okay? So uh, one way of, uh, so we have to uh, optimize for this by approximation. So as it is indicated here, uh, you have, a probability distribution. So all these represent the transformation here. And this is the probability distribution. And this is the entropy uh, uh, coding, okay? And another paper is the same thing here. So this is the transformation. So this is the inverse transformation. So this, there is a quantization. But in order to uh, code the entropy coder, his intro automatic entropy coder needs probability distribution. That probability distribution is a normal uh, probability distribution. And the mean vector and the covariance vector for this, uh, I mean, the normal, the mean vector and the covariance uh, matrix of the multivariant normal distribution parameters will be, ex uh, will be computed uh, using uh, Bayesian statistics. Uh, using hyper power, okay? So this is the references, uh, sorry, taking uh, much time. So as a recap, uh, my emphasis is that uh, because of the uh, quantization step and discrete probability, we cannot uh, use uh, uh, the standard uh, convolutional neural network that is used for, in, uh, for uh, different applications in image processing and natural language processing and computer vision. Okay, thank you. Doctor, so let's see, I'm breaking or another because I'm sick of break of Hala, Catalan, with a Mikatulut presenter or in Nidale.
Doktor ini undim isaman? Ah isaman ya. Ah ando atar rargi nama tanya kahan nohi ya image compression gudai. Awan sayo buzu kizi le obstacle avoidance nara itu je computer vision based le hono navigation le le nazi anman dia craft tu sini tak kap. Jelik cikir mendino ke flight control computer juga mikatam companion computer ada. Nanti dia vision image processing serah bicara misara. So anda nyaw cikir ya storage capacity jelik mohon ada pet video record dargo processing dalam head. Negeri ada mau bayan dan tu bermiu bersado ya image frame ya object tu jadi misara ya object detection bihun obstacle detection bihun yang dan do objek tu pixel location atau sign the obstacle avoidance by image frame must yang do objek tu itu kan dah dela objek tu itu kan dah le kau wakin benda semua mahal ya lo nasi awu tak asal le pal asal le milo negar nama serat yang nasi location was sign na awal sayo yang nanti he image compression u ye Jadi storage possibility untuk nun problem ini solve ni ada gimana sebenarnya? Ah, alamah susun. Ya, tak kala ya compression alamah anda zanwa. Ah, ada mua awal si masalah. Redundance alat buat awal cinti atau tone atau compress ni ada guna. Ya, sama sahaja obstacle itu betul aja kita cari bikin matu. Pixelo itu masa saya itu terlalu rancu istilah lembun progress ke dalam sari benda. Itu masa saya itu ada value di situ istilah lo. Itu masa saya obstacle itu terlalu yang tak cara ini kerana tu na. Ahun obstacle avoidance mencik geli kat istilah lo dah sebal. Lazi ahun location ochin mungkin kan susu masalahnya. Itu masa saya kau na buat awal tu. Pixelo itu itu masa saya value kalah tu. Yang ni, yang ni tetapi macam tu, kompresor kita ada guna. Location tu ni, air nak kap, ini sama sahaja buat apa la tu. Ah, entah ni. Malah macam mana? Image tu sih mata, yang macam mana yang anda tuh tulis guna ker? Region tu ni, interest region ni bala la, region of interest. Ah, region of interest tu malah, lembu sali, and area la. Ah, image tu kami tahu wala. Objek tu cincin detect tara gal. Objek tu detect objek detection malat location malat. Na boundary boundary no misalnya exact location on camro na boundary on camro ya dite output setal. Karena sa objek tu cuma kat kel jemu yang misal liga u objek kalle itu cincin misal liga cokohane. Itu cincin gua muru original data on reconstruct mara misal liga bihon. Yang ter interest, ya part bicara kahana, yang nim part minim minim saat nak kata, lossless mohon amengit, indah le, lossi saat tarik, lossless arga, antega mantap cila le, way, kadung quantization secara quantization table naik tu kahana, and standard quantization table al, yang nim quantization table, more bit metfel di kahana quantization table nung kaf tarik gawal, denominator gas lemit kamet malah ter. Mat felik kau nak ni atau atau hendak belajar sebab kau nak lezat region bicara mungkin ada tuh blok berblok karbon misalnya orang jual lezat region bicara minta raga ni quantization mat fix tu, tulis tarik gua le denominator untuk tulis tarik gua denominator untuk dalih tabkan malah tu. Dia buat cincin bahaya ni nyata warga cual le totali kan nasehat malah tu. Betam betam. Ia mana ibalal region of interest. Macam mana interest itu location ini detect cara galah the computer vision technique. Ah. Sun cara kebawahlah yang an important part. Buzu degree sah cara kita metu alah boleh antar reserve cara kebawah leh lawung game selain mat peliga. Ah. Enten selalu. Kafal lah tu musim bicara melak tu cilal leh merta. Betam betam mari. Wah, ini terlik solution lah ini yang. Dalam ku company computer ni, ada cuci kerja macam ni, nyaw ye storage tu dia no. Betul ni, rezim saat yang mibar rukoh na. Ya, cipta kat mana? Betul ni, ane teknik mai felagaun negar di kompres, mana kompres jaragu, ya tafu. 
የሚካሄድበት ቴክኒክ ራሱ ትልቅ ነገር ነው እንግዲህ በዚህ ላይ አብሮ መስራት ይቻላል ኦብስታክል አቮይዳንስ ወይንም ኮምፒውተር ቪዥን ቤስድ ኔቪጌሽን ላይ ለሚሰሩ ሰዎች በዚህ አይነት ኮንሴፕት አሁን ትልቅ ነገር ነው ካንት ያገኘውና ብዙ ነገር አብሮ መስራት ይችላል ሌሎችን በዚህ ኤሪያ ላይ የሚሰሩ አዎ ኮንታክትን እንዳደረግና አብሮ እንሰራለን አው ያው አንተን ፓኔል ዲስከሽን ላይን ስለሚኖር እዛ ላይ እንት ነላለሁ ብዬ ነው እኔም ትንሽ ጊዜ ሞሰርኮ መሰል ያስተማሪ ነገር አብዛው መሰል በጣም በጣም ኢንትረስቲንግ ነው በጣም ኢንትረስቲንግ ነው እጅግሬ ብዙ ነገር እንተከማለን ከዚህና ከዚህ ከንትሩ በኋላ ዲስከሽኑ ላይ እንዳልኮ በሰፊው እንዴት አብረን እንደምንችል አው እና አንተን ለማለት አብዛኛው ጊዜ አሁን እኔ ይሄንን እንትንምለው መጀመሪያ visual computing labs ለነበርሁኝ አ ኮምፒውተር ቪዥን ላይም ሰርቻለሁ ይሄ ኢሜጅ ፕሮሰሲንግ ቪዲዮ ፕሮሰሲንግ ላይም ሰርቻለሁ አሁን በቪ ስታንዳርድ አላችሁ አሁን በቪዲዮ H.264 ይባላል አድቫንስድ ቪዲዮ ኮዲንግ ሃይ ኢፊሸንሲ ቪዲዮ ኮዲንግ ደግሞ 2.645 ሆኗል አሁን 2.66 ደርሷል በየጊዜው ስታንዳርድ ይወጣል ስካውን ድረስ ግን በዲፕ ለርኒንግ ላይ አልተ አልወጣም ገና በእንትን ነው እንደሌላው ኤሪያ ሰክሰስፉል አልሆነ በቅድሙ ምክንያት ቅድም በተከስኳቸው ሁለት ምክንያቶች አሃ አሁን ሌላ ብታ አሁን ኢሜጅ ላይ በኮምፒውተር ቪዥን ክላሲፊኬሽን ልስራ ብትል ሴግመንቴሽን ዲቴክሽን ችግር የለም ለምን ፋንክሽን ኦሬዲ ኒውራል ኔትወርክ ፋንክሽን ኦሬዲ ኮንቲኒየስ ነው አክቲቬሽን ፋንክሽኖችን አይታቸው ኮድ እንደዛ አክቲቬሽን ፋንክሽኖቹ ዲፈረንሺኤብል ናቸው ፋንክሽኑ ዲፈረንሺኤብል ስለሚሆን ዌቶችን ወደ ኋላ አፕዴት ለማድረግ ምንም አትቸገር አሃ እዚህ ጋር ግን ምን ችግር አለ እንዳየው ፕራክቲካሊ በኢሜጅ በኮምፕሬንሽን በዳታ ኮምፕሬንሽን ውስጥ ግን በመጀመሪያ ደረጃ ፕሮባቢሊቲ ዲስትሪቢዩሽን ኮንቲኒየስ ፕሮባቢሊቲ ዲስትሪቢዩሽን ሳይሆን ዲስክሬት መሆን አለበት አሃ ሁለተኛ ትራንስፎርም ከተደረገ በኋላ ቫልዩ ፍሎቲንግ ቫልዩ ነው የሚሆነው ሪል ቫልዩ ነው ኢንቲጀር አይሆን ፍሎቲንግ ቫልዩ እንደሞ ስቶር ለማድረግ እንደምታቀው ሃይ ፕሪሲዥን ይፈልጋል 60 32 አካባቢ ይወስዳል አ በጣም ሶ ኳንታይዜሽን መደረግ ግዴታ ነው ኳንታይዜሽን ዲስክሬት ፋንክሽን ነው ፕሮባቢሊቲ ዲስትሪቢዩሽኑ ዲስክሬት ፋንክሽን ነው ይሄን ሎስ ፋንክሽኑን ዴሪቬት በመታረግበት ጊዜ ዜሮ ይሆን ይባላል ኮንስታንት ስለሆኑ ማለት ነው ዜሮ ከሆነ በግራዲያንት መሰረት አፕዴት ማድረግ አትችል ሶ ያለህ አማራጭ ምንድነው እነዚህን ዲስክሬት ፋንክሽኖች በኮንቲኒየስ መቀየር ነው በምን ጊዜ በትሬኒንግ ጊዜ በዲፕሎይመንት ጊዜ ግን የግዴታ ይሄን ነው የምትከተለው ሃርድ ኳንታይዜሽን እና ሃርድ ፕሮባቢሊቲ ዲስትሪቢዩሽን ማለት ዲስክሬት ፕሮባቢሊቲ ዲስትሪቢዩሽን እና ዲስክሬት ኳንታይዜሽን ፋንክሽኑ ምትጠቀሙ ዲፕሎይ ስታደርገው በተግባር ማለት ነው አ በተግባር አሁን ምን ይመጣል የተግባሩና ትሬኒንግ ሲያደርግ የሚያገኙና ቴስት ሲያደርግ የሚያገኙ ባህሪ ይለያይበታል በዛ ምክንያት ቻሌንጅ ሆነ ጥሩ ውጤት ማምጣት ማለት ነው። ቴንክ ዩ በጣም ተቀናለ እሺ እሺ በጣም በጣም እና መሰግናለን ዶክተር የወንድሙ ቢያድግልኝ ቢያድጌ እንደተቀናለሁኝ እሺ በጣም ብዙ ጥያቄዎች አሉ ከኦዲየንሶች ኦዲየንሶች ባካችሁ ጥያቄ ካላችሁ የቻት ቦክሱ ላይ አስቀምጡልንና በዲስከሽን ታይም በደንብ ብሪፍሊ ዲስክሰስ እናደርጋለን ጥያቄም ካላችሁ ቀጥታ አድሬስ ማረፍ ትችላላችሁ